Hello, Basehead family. I'm going to share a big secret with you today. What's better, parallel or series? Now, I know everyone's going to go, well, it depends on what you're doing. And that's true. But some people have the option of wiring it either in parallel or series because they have multiple subs, for instance. So let's assume you're giving the same power to uh, a sub, whether you're doing series or parallel. What is better so i've got a little experiment here today to show you i want to kind of take the camera and pan around and show you stuff it's on a tripod it's just a little webcam so it's not really ideal for that so i kind of try to get it to the best view as possible this is a port coming off of a box i will show you that at the end of the experiment i don't want to touch it now because i finally got the mic in a spot where i'm getting consistent results um and i i that's kind of important obviously uh this mic or this clamp meter is um detecting voltage this one is clamped for ac and i'm gonna do a low power test i've got it wired in series right now it's 1.1 1 .1 ohms and i've got it on a home amp which is like eight ohms or higher so i'm gonna do low power testing that and so i don't bug the neighbors i am outside um right now because my, my family's sleeping and it is late at night and i wanted to get this video done for you guys so I'm currently wired parallel, 1.1 ohms. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, measure, I think I'm gonna do two ohms. So we're gonna put, our, sorry, two volts, or two, excuse me, two watts. I'm gonna push two watts to the sub and we're gonna, we're gonna test it three times. We're gonna take measurements three times. And then I'm gonna swap it and we're gonna do series where I'm gonna push two watts um hopefully that's possible yeah that should be possible uh, i'm gonna push the same thing two watts and we're gonna measure it and we're gonna do three measurements on each okay so first up i've got uh, i'm doing 45 hertz and when i hit play i need to reset this all right perfect play Me 3.6. I'm going to reset it. We'll try it again. Again, 123.6. I'm going to go ahead and reset it one more time. And we'll try again. And 123.9. I'm going to reset. I'm just do a fourth run just to see if we get uh, 123.6 or what would we get. We should be pretty consistent. So let me try that again. All right, 123.8. So we had two at 123.6, one at 123.9, and one at 123.8. Uh, I'm going to play it again so I can write down the voltage and amperage. Okay. I'm going to real quick, I'm going to tell you what that is. And we will need to match that, those watts uh, for the next test. Five point. 0 0.7 uh, volts times 0.4 amps. That is 2.028 watts. I had had it at like 1.99 uh, watts, and then I did the video, and the, it, the equipment cooled off just a little bit, so we got just a, a hair over, but pretty darn close. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. I'm going to swap it around a series, and then I'll catch you back in a minute. Okay, I am back. We are wired in series. Let's go ahead and take four measurements.
did actually knock that down a little bit. I'm going to try to put that back to exactly where it was. Okay, I'm going to check real quick the voltage and the amps. Okay, 10.56 volts and 0.19 amps. That is 2.0064. That is actually slightly less watts uh, in series than in parallel i'll be right back with you i'm gonna add up the average for everything and i also want to talk about um something else and then show my setup give me a sec guys i'll be right back okay i am back uh i'm gonna talk a little bit about the results first and then i'll show you my my setup if you guys want to see that anyway so parallel wired at 1.1 because it's a 2.2 ohm sub i at, at 45 Hertz was definitely, it was not the uh, resonant frequency of the box or anything. Um, I just picked one where the, the mic didn't move around a lot. Uh, some of them, they vibrate so much it would move around and I couldn't really keep consistent results. But look at that 5.7 volts at 0.4 amps. That is an impedance of 12.67. So that's basically an impedance rise of almost 12 or around 12, 1.1 times 12. Yeah, uh, close, very close to 12. Now, what's really interesting, I do want to point out, if you were to uh, expect a four times with it in series, you were wrong because the impedance of 12.67 times four would have been 50.68, and the impedance of, of it in series is 55.579. So that is a significant, that's around, uh, what, 13, 13 and a half um, compared to this it's actually a lot more rise okay well, not a lot more but it's you know significant now the series we had 10.56 volts 0.19 amps and we had more rise but look at this spl it's about a half a db more and i will tell you i've run this test in cars i've run this test with different boxes i've run this test with 15s and 18s the half a db is consistent across everything uh, I've never had a deviation um, more than, you know, like maybe six or seven tenths. It's pretty consistent at half a dB louder, same power, more rise. I keep telling you guys, if efficiency is your best friend, impedance rise is your best friend. And, and here, this, this partially this is another thing that fits in there. More rise, more SPL, okay? More rise, more SPL. You're making it more efficient. Why? That, uh, you're going to have to pay attention for another video coming out. I hope it'll be the next video I make. We'll talk about why. Why is it louder in series than parallel? So for everyone out there, um, hope you do some tests. I, this is low power testing. I've only ever done super low power testing. No, I shouldn't say super low. I've done like 50, 100 watts two, three, four, 500 watts, but I've never done like RMS rated, uh, power testing on an actual sub. So if you want, try that and let me know your results with the series versus parallel test. Um, I, this is one of those big secrets that some people know about, but most people do not know people that know they, they wire their stuff in series if they can. Sometimes they have to wire it in parallel competition because they're pushing so much power that they need to try to keep the loading even between the subs and uh, the parallel can actually help help with that depending upon what you're doing. Okay, for those that were interested in, in the setup, this is actually an old Port Wars uh, prototype box that I was testing. And let me, I'll bring it over and put it under the camera. Let me raise the camera up a little bit. Okay, so that's an E8 on the back sub that I was swapping back and forth. Currently it's wired in the series because that's what we last tested. It's in a sono tube 
Uh, I think the inside of this is about, uh, it's maybe just shy of three quarters of a cube. And then of course I got a long tube on the front. This, like I said, was a prototype Port Wars box. And this is what I had available for me for testing. Um, I, I tried initially doing a short port on it and I was getting more, uh, the results were a little bit more inconsistent. So it took me a while to try to figure out something that I could do not in the car that'd be consistent for you. Like I said, it is the middle of the night. I have neighbors up and I don't want to be out there switching wires around. People probably be thinking I'm trying to break into a car or something. Anyways, guys, I, I hope this is really interesting. I hope this helps. And, uh, I can't wait to, to further this talk and this discussion because this is, a kind of one of those secrets that no one really talks about. I don't think a lot of people know about, and um, I'm, it's going to be important for you to understand how to select your subs and what subs um, uh, might help get you better, better results, get you a little louder if that's what you're interested in. Uh, if you are interested in sound quality, then this is also a really good one because wiring it in series, this is, you know, part of what can help with wiring it in series is they talk about the amp. They always ever talk about the amp, but the sub wiring it in series, getting a little bit more impedance rise, um, can make everything a little bit, uh, let's say, um, crisper, cleaner, punchier, more accurate with notes on your sub. And, uh, we will, once again, we'll talk about that next time. I love you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this awesome experiment. And I will catch you online later. Cheers.